Hey, good morning, guys. Today we're going to change the uh, netting on the van. It, it's gotten old and had to repair it many, many times. As you can see here, it takes a lot of beating going in and out of this thing. So we're going to replace it today with a new type. Um, this one here is going to go into the seal of the van, the weather stripping. And then it'll also roll up and there's magnets on it. So uh, we'll get to that, get it out of the box. I'll tell you where we got it from. I'll post a link uh, below. If you guys would like to purchase this after we're done and you think, hey, that looks pretty good. I think it's going to be more practical than this one here because you're always having to open it up right over here all the time. And you got to make sure it seals properly uh, so you don't get any bugs in. So I think it'll be a great change. What do you think? You don't know anything yet because I haven't shown you. So let's get going on that. All right. Okay, I got it laid out here on the trailer. Roxanne's reading the instructions because I'll probably forget them. Her memory's better than mine. So, um, like I said before, it's going to go in between the body and that door seal. So um, it should look pretty nice. I like the way it looks here on the the trailer anyways <laughs> all right let's get started This is not easy. The video makes it look easy. It's not easy. Especially pulling the weather stripping or the seal. You get it too tight on one side, then it have to pull it back on the other side. And you get a big gap in there. And it, it, it's a pain in the butt, guys. But it looks good. We're almost there, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're kind of gonna show you kind of what we're doing um, as we're going around the edge where the seal goes you put in these little clips and then push the weather stripping back in there and you do like a foot at a time where'd my assistant go so I'm just kind of showing you the process of this there's a link on YouTube all right, I'll, uh, in fact, here, let's do this. There's this code that you would go to that link to show you uh, how to install this and other products that they have at Van Essentials. So, so far, we're, we're almost done. Just got to finish up down there and then um, trim the excess all the way around so this is really i like this a lot because magnets are strong got a little handle here you can pull open it up let go also there's a zipper on this side we'll show you when we get all done and then you can roll it up and tie it up right there on those uh, uh clips there or buckles. All right, let's get this. Let's get this thing finished. I'm getting tired. Hey guys, ran into a little snag. Had to get out the old Dremel. I'll show you what we had to do. 
All right, so I couldn't get the weather stripping out down here at the bottom. So I had to cut a hole, or I had to cut out the notch. yeah notch here in the, uh, what do they call this? Transition. Transition thingamajigger. So now I can pull the rubber out to finish this. I couldn't get, I had it right up against there. Because it looked neat, you know, it looked good and clean when we first did it. But uh, hindsight's 2020, right? All right, let's get this finished up. Okay, it's in. Pain in the butt, but it's in. Roxanne was looking for a couple clips we dropped under the van somewhere. Why don't you crawl down in there and get them? No, you go get them. Oh, I can't. I got a boot on. I got, I got a boot on. All right, go ahead and shut the door. Here we go. Cool. Okay, open. All right, show them how it opens on the right side of the screen. Got a little handle there. Pull it open. Yay. Shuts. Yeah, we'll probably stick a little Velcro on that uh, thin part at the bottom. But also, also want the screen, we can also roll up. They've got little buckle clasps here, so we can roll it up if we want more hair. The zipper down here. This is really, really fine mesh. You, you can't you probably can't even see it in the camera right now. That's how fine it is. So I like that. Yeah, the problem with our DIY one was that well, it was not made for this. And also, the mesh was made out of fiberglass, I think. And it made it, when we would open it and close it, it would bend and crease and it became so brittle that it cracked. So, basically, we had a bunch of duct tape and <laughs> repairs down. Yeah, screen repair kit. Oh, is that what that was? Which we still need to do the back screen because the back one is doing the same thing over the garage. So, so we may buy, I don't know, we want to buy same company they make one for the back however the garage area is made out of I think a solid piece of canvas the top part is mesh and I believe they also have a canvas behind it so if you want privacy you can roll down the canvas so it closes so it basically it blacks out the garage door or the garage area so when you open the doors nobody can actually see your garage or but you can see right out from your out the bed uh, you know, in the morning, look at those beautiful sunrises uh, wherever you're at. Uh, all right, guys. Well, she's going to get this trimmed up. I got to get off my foot. It's starting to ache, hurt from my surgery. So, um, yeah, this is going to complete it for today.